Friends, in this video, I will discuss about uh, implementing persistent gas by using dynamic lookup transformation. Uh, so, this is my mapping M dynamic lookup transformation out here. In properties, there are one property is there. Uh, lookup class persistent. Uh, by default, this one is uh, this is not enable. And uh, now I'm using dynamic lookup. At your dynamic lookup class, uh, this is enable. So lookup acts as a dynamically, and at your insert as update. So first, without uh, uh, dynamic lookup class property enable. So add here So just create one uh, session that is uh, my mapping. So I have to add your Now I start the task. So record already present into the target so that uh, it's not to uh, insert any record. So let's uh, I will say you my play my intention is to show you. Uh, persistent cache so uh, without using non persistent cache and using persistent cache so and here uh, um, Create new cache files at that location. So you call an informatica 9.6.1 server in passive. So let's check that one. So in C drive, in format call, 9.6, and the server, in password, and cache. So this created 28 to 8. Uh, and uh, 29 today's date is 29 let me remove that one and uh, again I start the task Uh, created new cache files 
and that location same so let's uh, open that too and refresh the so this time uh, that time and this time cache uh, is created but what happened at that location cache is not in there so go to log event right here so look that uh, read that message or uh, deleting the cache uh, first uh, cache created and after that uh, that gonna delete it uh, without using uh, persistent cache or uh, in look uh, transformation so here after now I'm going to enable that property look up cache persistent So save that one and I start the task. Now get session now. So look at there, there is a class file created that location. Uh, so let's check. So two type of class files created, one is date and another is index class files. And uh, check one more thing. There is any, no any option of deleting the class files. So deleting class files is not in there. So if you start to task again Right uh, there, this is uh, by enabling in, uh, persistent cache property at the or uh, that is using exiting or uh, using exiting cache files. So uh, at that location, cache files created so that cache files uh, using. So, but uh, this may be updated. Cache files gonna updated because uh, uh, this is uh, updated as this is a dynamic looker. So whenever you are uh, just uh, insert the records or update the records, so cache files gonna also updated. So let's check that one by inserting some records so, or updating the records so now I'm going to remove that one and right here update the one record
so look at the this one I think that is for uh, updating the records and total 9 was there now uh, one records gonna delete it so using a uh, Again, using exiting cache files, uh, records gonna update it because this is a dynamic looker. So now this time I'm going to insert records and update records. So I inserted one record on that one and uh, update the record at there. So now I start the task once. So look at there, one record is for update, one record is for insert. So by using uh, exiting cache, so records getting updated and updated at the or insert the record, inserted. Uh, but uh, without using uh, without using uh, persistent cache property. That's always uh, create new cache files. So right here. Look at the uh, without using that's always created new ca uh, cache files. No matter how many times you run or update the records, so that's always works as created new cache files after that. So runs again and check that time also that's uh, created new cache files. Also uh, one row is uh, getting updated on new cache files. So again, created new cache files. And after creating new cache files, that's gonna delete it. Deleting the cache on new cache files.
so this option is not in there when you are using it uh, persistent can property so that will you works uh, first time that will create the cache files after that exiting cache files uh, that will update the records if uh, uh, if lookups uh, is in uh, if lookup uh, property set as a dynamic lookup cache so what the benefit of uh, uh, using persistent it cache. gives high performance boost uh, during the session run time because integration integration service does not uh, create uh, new cache files uh, therefore uh, it saves the time 